Hello and welcome back to the channel and to today's video, which I feel like I very much got in the habit of filming now every season. So today's video is what's new in my wardrobe for winter. So first on my list for today is, no surprise at all, another pair of Converse. Now, these ones are definitely of the winter variety. These are the newest style from Converse, which are, I believe they call them the Sherpa Converse, and that's because they're lined in like a faux sheepskin. So on the outside, they are leather, which I think is also an added bonus because it provides a little bit more warmth in the cooler seasons and also is a lot more practical in terms of keeping them clean and in terms of rain. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that they are a rain shoe, but if you get caught in the rain in these, it's gonna do a lot less damage because the water's just gonna run off the leather rather than sinking in and giving you soggy feet, which is what I would usually get if I was wearing a pair of the standard canvas fabric Converse. Now, these ones are my favorite kind of style, which is the Chuck 70s. And I, it's not really a rule of thumb, but generally I will go for the high top versions just because I find them a lot more versatile. And I just think that they carry over into the cooler seasons a lot better as well. So I've been wearing Converse quite a lot over the last few weeks, um, or even over the last couple of months since we moved into the new house. Just find that they're really super practical shoe, but the weather is starting to take a dip now. So I just felt that I wanted something with a little bit more added warmth in there, which is why I have invested in these. Right, moving on, second on the list, which I was actually about to open this up, but this is also new. So this is my new Majuri jewellery box. I actually have two of these. One of them is just for my Majuri jewellery, which I do believe I spoke about in the recent What I Wore in a Week video. And so I touched on that in there. And I do have a couple of new pieces in here, along with the hair, which was very nice. So yes, I do have a couple of new pieces in here, which I wanted to talk about because I just feel like I've been wearing them quite a lot recently. And as pretty much with all of Majuri's styles and pieces, or at least the ones that I have in my collection anyway, I just find them really, really wearable. We're talking for sort of everyday wear. I don't find them limiting at all. I find them really comfortable, really lightweight. Um, in particular, when we're sort of discussing earrings, that's a big thing for me. I like earrings. I love a hoop, but I don't want to feel them constantly sort of knocking against my face or I don't want to feel them like weighty in my ears. I kind of want them to be there without me feeling like they're there. So the first item that I have in my jewellery box, if I can pick them up, is the tube hoops. And I've had these now for about a month, I would say, and I've worn them quite frequently. I've even worn them when we've just been doing DIY around the house. More so just to sort of test them out and just to make myself feel like I've made a bit of an effort, even though I'm wearing overalls. And very much as I suspected, they are incredibly comfortable, really lightweight. Because of the post, they have the little sort of click post that goes into the little claw thing. I'm doing a terrible job of describing that. My mum would tell me what the official term is. But because of that, unlike these hoops that I have in the between hoops, I wouldn't sleep in them just because it's got that little pointy bit on the back. But for general wear day to day, or even if you wanted to swap them out for an evening, they are very light and very, very comfortable. Now, if I dive back in my box, we also have a new ring, which was a little bit extravagant, but um, I have only ever tried the diamond earrings and the very, very small diamond earrings from the Majuri collection. So this one is new to my collection. This is the diamond team ring and it's very, very subtle. It's a really skinny sort of band ring. The diamonds just span sort of along the top section, I would say potentially a quarter of the ring. So it's very subtle, not very wide at all, really kind of delicate and feminine as well. And it's really good for stacking because I have a lot of other very sort of thin stacker rings from Majuri's collection. And it looks really nice as well when you kind of stack them up with some of those to create, I suppose to create sort of a, a thicker band ring, but of 
of your own choice. It's kind of mix and match, I suppose. And yeah, I've worn this one quite a lot as well. Admittedly, not when we've been doing DIY because there are diamonds in here and I don't want to get them all grubby with paint and filler and all sorts of other things, but it's a really beautiful ring. It wears well. Again, it's incredibly comfortable and it just adds a nice little bit of sparkle as well. And um, I think Majuri in general as well, really, really good for gifts. If you've got anyone that likes a bit of sparkle or potentially even if we're talking about like hoop earrings, if you have someone in mind that you know loves their hoop earrings and potentially they wear them every day, maybe you might want to upgrade them for Christmas because that's the time when we can be a little bit more extravagant with our gifts, I suppose. You could upgrade them to something which are solid gold if perhaps they have something vermeil or plated. Just an idea that I'm going to float out there. And then finally, the third new little piece of Majuri which I have here is the Curb Chain Bracelet, which you guys will probably be familiar with. In fact, I do have it on because I never take it off, but I have the Curb Chain Necklace on, which around this time of year, granted, doesn't really get seen very much because I'm usually wearing big, bold, chunky jumpers like this because it's so cold, but it's always on there. I sleep in it, shower in it, everything. Again, it's 14 karat solid gold, so it doesn't tarnish, doesn't oxidize or anything like that. So I always keep that on. And I wanted the matching bracelet because I do have a couple of bracelets, again, Majuri, which I keep on all the time. And I just, I really like the curb chain style. So I wanted to get the matching bracelet, which admittedly I don't actually keep on all the time. Although, again, because it's 14 karat solid gold, it doesn't matter if I did accidentally sleep in it or shower in it. Once again, as with the majority of my Majuri pieces, it's really, really lightweight, but very minimal in terms of style. It's one of those things that I don't feel like overpowers an outfit when I have it on. It's just there to be my little hints of gold. Right, next on the list, I have two pairs of trousers, which probably look identical, but I'm gonna show them to you one by one. Now, these are actually things which I bought in the Black Friday sale, discounts, whatever you wanna call it. Um, as I've mentioned before, and you guys, or you regulars at least will know, I do not advocate just blindly buying in the Black Friday sales. Normally Black Friday for me and Simon as a household means that we're gonna buy appliances and things because we're usually doing some kind of renovation either after Black Friday or around that time. So we use Black Friday to buy new bits for our kitchen renovations that we've done previously, bathrooms, that kind of thing. And we did the same thing this year as well, actually. But I did, buy a couple of a couple of treats for myself and actually these were items which I did have on my wish list but just with the house move and things I hadn't actually got around to checking my wish list in a long time and yeah they kind of took a bit of a back seat but Joseph did some discounts I think they did up to I think it was up to 40% off and I can't remember how much individually I got off each of these items, but I'll put some more thorough information down in the description box. So the first pair have an element of stretch to them. In fact, they have a lot of stretch to them, but they are, I think they call these the KD, oh, it says inside, the Tafira Melange Garbadine Stretch probably pronounced all of that completely incorrectly, but they are a beautiful color. They're something which I'm never going to wear when our niece comes over. She's like seven, eight, no, eight months old now, I think. So yeah, these are gonna be reserved for when she's not around with her sticky fingers. They are really beautiful. They're such a gorgeous, flattering fit. They are at the moment a little bit long, so potentially I might take them up, but I'm just kind of in the decision stage of wondering whether I should do that or not, because obviously if you wear them with heels or boots or something like that, something with a little bit more elevation, then you're gonna want that extra length. So at the moment, I'm just sort of deciding how to take them up, whether I should, whether I shouldn't. They're really beautiful fit, almost like a bit of a boot cut fit, which takes me back to my school trouser years. And actually these are, very similar 
to the school trousers that I used to have. I used to have a pair from Topshop. We all had the same pair of trousers and they had this stretch fabric to them. And once you'd worn them for like a year, all the stretch, the elastin used to come out of the trousers and look like little white worms coming out of the trousers. I know some of you in the UK will know what I'm talking about because I feel like people of my generation, women of my generation, we all had the same kind of school trousers from Topshop. Anyway, school trousers memory over, back to the trousers. Yes, yeah, so that's my first pair there. And then this second pair, these are actually a really unusual shape. They almost sort of remind me of riding jodhpurs, like horse riding jodhpurs. They're a tapered fit, so they go narrower towards the bottom and then have this really nice pleat down the front, but they're really, really beautiful sort of twill fabric, but not stiff and starchy. They have a really nice kind of flow to them. And then the other element that I really like about these, they come with the belt, but it's got this really long section, which sort of dangles down. When you actually tie it, you can dangle it down to the side. And I really like that. It was just something that I liked about the style of them. When I saw them online, sort of at the start of the season, I'd seen them and I thought, yeah, I really like those. They also come in a sort of gray color, but it was this, I don't know, creamy beige that really tickled my pickle at the time. And these are the sort of thing that I would wear with a chunky knit and potentially a pair of high top Converse or loafers or even a pair of heels if I were going out to perhaps some sort of like festive, I don't really go to parties, but if we're having some sort of festive gathering of sorts. So yes, two pairs of trousers there, both from Joseph. If Joseph is a brand that you like, they do have a really good sale on at the moment. So check that out. If there is specific items that you're looking for, of course, I don't like to encourage just random purchasing because things are in the sale because that's just no good. Next on the list is, I don't think I'll be able to fit this all in screen, but you'll see it in the cutaways, this jumper, which again, I think I've already shown. I know that I've taken a couple of mirror selfies on Instagram stories with this on. This jumper was not to be dramatic, but a lifesaver when we had the two weeks where we had no heating in the house. As an update, we have heating now. We've had heating since Tuesday, I think. Best feeling ever. <laughs> but this jumper was an absolute lifesaver. I did have about 10 pairs of thermals on underneath, but it's so big and chunky. It's a wool and cashmere blend. So 90% wool, if my memory serves me correctly, 10% cashmere and it is thick, it is sumptuous, it is chunky, it's very, very oversized. So it's from the H&M Premium Collection, which again, you regulars and long-term followers, watchers, viewers, whatever, will know that this collection is probably the only collection that I really buy from if I'm gonna purchase from H&M, aside from like underwear and pajamas and that kind of thing. And that's just because I prefer the fabrics that they use, I prefer the cuts and the styles. H&M Premium kind of overlaps with H&M Trend. There is a specific premium section on the website, so I'll link that down below because that's the only page I ever visit really when I go onto H&M and I keep a close eye on it in case little gems like this pop up. One more thing I just wanted to touch on about size, because a few of you were asking on Instagram about size of this one. It's massive, very, very oversized. I really could have done with a small in this, but I bought a medium thinking I just want it huge, and it is huge, it's ginormous. So with this jumper, what I would say in terms of sizing, you do not need to size up unless you want it absolutely massive and oversized, in which case do size up, which is what I did to the size medium. Right, next item, and if this doesn't signify that I now live in the country, I do not know what does. <laughs> I am officially a countryside person now that I have a wax jacket. Now this might have been a bit of a splurge, but I saw it and it was one of those things that I absolutely loved and obsessed over for quite some time. So in the end, I just kind of bit the bullet and was like, yeah, do you know what? I really like it. I know I'm gonna get lots of wear out of it. It's not something, especially given the fact that we do now live in the countryside, it's not a particular trend orientated item. 
But it is a wax jacket and this one is from Totem. Inside it's got quilted fabric. It is, despite what you may think, even though this is a what's new in my wardrobe for winter video, I know some people might be looking at a wax jacket that isn't particularly long. It's not particularly thick thinking, that's not really winter appropriate. Let me assure you, this is very warm. It's very oversized, so I can fit a nice chunky knit underneath, like something like what I'm wearing at the moment. So it does have kind of potential to layer underneath, should I need to. But in itself, the jacket is very warm, and that's the beauty of a wax jacket. They're kind of like a barrier against wind and chill and all that kind of stuff. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll still be wearing my puffers quite a bit, but I did want something that was going to be just more countryside vibes and this is the one that I decided to go for. Now granted Totem is not you know the leading manufacturer of wax jackets there were other brands like Barber or Hunter that I could have gone to for you know a proper official wax jacket but this one was the one that I saw and that I liked the style of so that's why I went for this one. Right next item on the agenda is a pair of slippers which were very much on my list to buy for this season. I did need a new pair of slippers. These ones are another purchase that I actually bought in Black Friday. So again, they were more of a necessity. I say necessity. Yeah, slippers are a necessity, aren't they? I think if you're British, slippers are a necessity. That is an official statement from a British person. So these were an item again, which were on my list that I needed to buy, not something that I just bought because of the discount but they did have a discount on them which was a pretty decent discount actually so these were from jigsaw as you can see i haven't worn these yet i have only tried them on and the reason for that is because we do have a lot of dust in the house at the moment and i know slippers are just there to keep your feet warm but because these are so box fresh and nice and new and beautiful, I wanna wait until at least the floor is kind of relatively clean before I start wearing my new slippers, which hopefully is not gonna to be too long, hopefully another week or so, but before Christmas. Christmas day, I wanna be wearing these slippers all day. So they are a mule style, so a slide in kind of slipper. They have obviously all this beautiful sort of sheepskinny, I think this is actual genuine sheepskin as well. And then a leather interior in there and the whole footbed as well of the slipper is this really sort of thick plush sheepskinny type stuff. Now, I would probably still wear these with a pair of socks because obviously the back part of the foot, the heel, etc., is not going to be protected. But I, again, I think it was for me more so about the sort of style and substance of these rather than uh, slipper practicality, I suppose you might call it. So yes, a pair of slippers from Jigsaw. Not really a part of my wardrobe per se, but yeah. <laughs> Right, moving on to my next item. Colour? What? Who am I? What am I even doing? So I've made a bit of an exception to my no colour rule. And that's because this is my Christmas jumper. So it's 100% cashmere. I believe it's also fully traceable because it's from John Lewis and Partners brand. So it's their own John Lewis brand. And it's kind of got, I'm not going to call it like an Aran knit, but it's got this sort of weave feature on it, which also goes along the sleeves, like on the top there, just along the top of the sleeves. And it does also go onto the back as well. It's 100% cashmere, really, really nice and soft. And then it's got this ribbed funnel neck at the top as well. I have upsized in this one to a size 14. I've actually tried it on and I think, because I've still got the tag on this one, we literally only went to pick this up from John Lewis the other day, and I think I might even exchange it for something bigger because I like my jumpers to be really oversized. Now I'm a UK size 10 for anyone that's wondering, so obviously I'll show you this one in the cutaways. I don't know if it's as oversized as what I would like, so I may well exchange it for potentially a size 16 or even an 18, I'm not entirely sure, but I just like that nice sort of slouchy fit. It comes in 
A grey colour, quite a light grey, also comes in a navy and I think one other colour which has escaped my memory I'm afraid but it was this very Christmassy green which struck me. It wouldn't be a colour that I would normally go for but tis the season. Okay, next item on the list is another item of outerwear because I have had my wax jacket already. So this was from Arquette. I've had this for a little while now. Technically I had this when I did the autumn, what's new in my wardrobe for autumn video. So it should have really gone in that, but I think it was a bit of a late arrival, so couldn't quite go in there. So it's a, I don't want to call it a cropped because it's not cropped, but it's a shorter jacket and it's got this beautiful sort of brushed fluffy texture to it, which I absolutely love. There's a few of my favorite brands that have coats in this kind of um, texture. Arquette, Philippa K, um, House of Dagmar, I believe, also have a coat in this beautiful brushed fabric at the moment as well. Sometimes Massimo Dutti tend to do this kind of fabric too and I just love it. And you know me and my neutrals, guys. I saw this beautiful colour. It's kind of a beigey, torpy. It looks like some sort of woodland animal <laughs> that's crawling through the bushes. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I just, it's very tactile. Obviously, I kind of keep stroking it. It's got this nice big chunky neck which you can button up over there but you can also just button it up to there and kind of leave that a little bit more open if you've got perhaps something like a chunky jumper on. Again I have sized up in this one by quite a few sizes so this one is a size it's a UK 18 so again I'm a size 10 so I've sized up in that one by quite a few sizes purely because that's how I like the fit and because I size up so much in my jumpers, I then need the outerwear to accommodate all of the extra fabric in the jumpers. So yeah. And then my next item is also from Arquette because you guys know I'm a big fan of the brand. And it is, actually I think this is a piece from their loungewear collection, which is exactly what I bought it for. I did really want matching bottoms, but in my local Arquette store, which is blue water, they didn't actually have the matching bottoms in stock. So I've just gone for the hoodie, which again is incredibly oversized and I didn't need to upsize in this one. This one's the extra small slash small. And as you can see, it's quite big and baggy. It's a really nice length, so it covers the bum. So I tend to wear this with just a pair of leggings. And it's one of those items which potentially if we get up, especially on a Sunday morning where we don't take the dogs out straight away, it's one of those items where I'll just slip on my pair of leggings, Hopefully in a couple of weeks, I'll be able to pop my slippers on and then I'll just kind of slot this on over the top and then something nice and cozy and slouchy, especially when it's getting chilly outside. Fabric's really nice and soft and the hood as well, which for an evening when we're sat kind of watching the telly, I always like to sit there, pop my hood up and just feel nice and cozy. And now finally for my last item, which is again from Arquette. And this is one of those things which I speak about every autumn winter season when I whip these out. This is, and let me actually just look at the label. I know it's alpaca, I think. I say I know it's alpaca. Yes, it is. It's wool alpaca blend. And that's what gives these kind of, alpaca is a very fluffy fabric. Um, it can molt quite a bit, but I absolutely love anything made from alpaca. So these hats are a very firm staple of mine. I have had them since Arquette first brought them out. They're always in their core collections. They literally have these every single year. They always bring them out. They always have a really good range of very kind of core classic colors. So black, navy, camel, those are all the colors that I have. But this year, we were just in Blue Water the other day and I noticed this kind of oatmeal -y beige color. I thought, I don't have that in my collection. 
and literally inside me there was a little voice just saying you need it you need it in your collection so I have now got the oatmeal color but for anyone that likes a bit of bold color they do have some really nice colors as well I think they've got a pink a blue they have a green quite similar to my um, John Lewis jumper as well if you like a bold green and yeah they're just very versatile and most importantly they are very warm right that is me done for the day i hope you enjoyed 20 odd minutes probably of me waffling on about what's new in my wardrobe as per usual i am hoping next week simon and i are going to get started on my wardrobe so i'm really hoping that either before christmas or sort of during the christmas that weird time before no after Christmas but before New Year I'm hoping we're going to be able to get those new wardrobe videos to you guys there's going to be a actually making and creating my new walk-in wardrobe and also there's going to be a organized so basically when I stick all of my stuff in the wardrobe that is going to be a very fun day for me at least I'm going to enjoy that day very thoroughly but we also have in our next video something for you guys to look forward to is Simon's walk-in wardrobe which is a project that we literally just finished this morning but for now thank you as always for watching if you've got any questions or anything about today's video any queries or whatever it may be just leave those down in the comment section below and we will get back to you ASAP Thank you as always for watching and we will see you on Sunday.